Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second episode today and the second episode of the series of the uh, of the Fulham career and uh, today we have a slightly longer episode but uh, we do start off with an injury to Frimpong who uh, he was here originally on the uh, squad roster so I'm not sure whether Fulham actually signed him in real life or or I, I certainly didn't or whether he's just put here on loan because he's on loan somewhere where they can't put him. I swear down he went to Wolves at one point or something. Oh, I don't really know. But uh, but anyway, I was just... Uh, well, we're going on to the next game against Southampton. This one is extended because it is one hell of an epic game. Which, uh, you know, there's a twist towards the uh, towards the end of it. But we will get straight into it right now. If you watch the first episode and hear, hear me said uh, say the club's name is Fulham. I do not think that the... Uh, club is called Fulham, they're called Fulham, Fulham, the regular London team with Michael Jackson's statue up front or something like that, but anyway, making a few changes to the team, bringing in Roddy Eger and Lopez up front, Emmanuelson just in behind with Richardson left mid, Kakaniklic right mid, and Nose just coming in at CDM, Risa at left back, complete change around of the team, because we did play that City game, which, uh, you know, we got a few fitness issues and stuff but that's uh, nothing to really worry about as we go jumping into the game now and this is straight off one of my attacks at the beginning of the game and Southampton are coming on the attack with Adam Lalana up the side finding Rodriguez Rodriguez and then Davies finds a very nice ball to Lalana and Lalana's shot is just going in we're behind again <sighs> It's same old, same old Fulham. I don't get what it is, I just can't defend with this team. If I can't defend with the team, I normally get bored with them. But anyway, Lopez trying to make something happen here, and Roddy Yeager's shot is uh, is blocked at the near post with a very tight angle, and trying to make something work from that. Obviously, I'm going to put the corner on Irby and Manuelson with 86 curve. Puts it into the middle, no header from the first header, but then there's Rivas with a nice shot, but Boric is saving them in goal today. And no, shot was blocked there. And then we're trying to keep it alive down the side here with Richardson finding Lopez. Lopez finding Emmanuelson again. Emmanuelson trying to produce some sort of a cross, but it's kicked out clear and it comes to absolutely nothing. Southampton on the attack here again, uh, down the side with Lalana again, and look at all that free space in the middle for Rodriguez, where is Hangelin going? Luckily it goes wide this time for the computer to miss a chance like that, it is incredible to see for the, you know, the least, and luckily we get away with that one again, but we are coming on the attack here again, and it's slipped through to Lopez, who cannot find his shooting boots, Ronnie Jaeger, who cannot find his shooting boots either, and we're going to go into half-time, I believe. Oh no, we're going to have uh, one more opportunity here with Lopez. Ah yeah, this is a big opportunity because he gets taken out. Penalty time. Come on then, come on then. I'm warmed up, I'm ready. I'm giving it to the highest penalty stat in our team. Roddy Jaeger, that's fine, 75. Enough power, three bars, top right-hand corner. Here we, Here we go. Here we go, on our way to another loss then, lads. And on our way to another loss with shots like that. <sighs> but anyway, Lopez trying to test out his shooting boots again, but we already know the outcome of that, a Boric save, which has been the story of the first half. Fulham versus goalkeeper. Trying to keep it alive here, trying to make something happen, but it's kicked clear, and that is half-time, boys. Half-time, and I had to sit down with the lads. I had a chat with the lads, I said to them, look, you want to start winning games, we need to start scoring goals. And we need to stop conceding goals so early in halves. They responded pretty well. With their first attack here, it's Irby Emanuelson finding a turn here with Lopez. Lopez with the shot. Can we get the ball back into the middle? Yes, we can, but Boric is saving them again. Important part of the game here, Gaston Ramirez is coming on as a substitute for Rodriguez up front. Better keep him, uh, keep him away from this corner, which Lalana is going to take. Nice little position. Ah, so right, Rivas is the... Giving up. Giving up. I'm close to giving up. But, here's Roddy Egan now, straight from the kickoff, trying to make something work, and it's passed down to Kaka Niklic, I believe that is. And it's Kaka... No, that's the right back, isn't it? Yes, it's Adamano. It's a little bit of a sweaty goal, but we don't mind. It gets us back into the game. It's Hugo Roddy Egan, about the 54th minute, I think that says. With his left foot. Even from there, he nearly didn't even put it in. Even from there, I mean, look, watch, it goes across. Rodiega, oh, just the inside of the post, but 
but but but we'll take it. And we're trying to get back into the game again with Rodiego. Not too long after that goal, I believe it's at the 69th minute. It's Lopez. It's 2-2. We've salvaged the point. Surely we can go on now to try and get the win. And it's Rodiego trying to do that for us now. He's going to cut it back. We're just trying to keep a bit of possession here because we always struggle to seem to be able to do that. Bueno, I thought he lost it, but he finds it again. It's a nice little cutback from Bueno into Ruiz, into the middle. Ruiz finally Redmond. 3-2! 3-2! 3-2! Yes! Yes! I'm feeling it now, lads. 84th minute. 3-2 up. We can hold this out. There's no way we can't hold this out. We can make this happen. Oh no, here comes Ramirez. Ramirez into Lalana. Lalana into Shaw. Oh god, this is like Barcelona. Oh please. Don't go in, don't go in. Oh, I thought that was going in, but we do get our first win of the season. If you did enjoy this epic 3-2 win, then do leave it a like, do subscribe if you do enjoy that content. Go and check out my first video of today, which I is in the playlist. Oh, thank God that's over, boys.